Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 7th grade concept of determining the constant and we will do it in 5 minutes or less. So in 7th grade we need to become very comfortable with this equation y equals kx. And so we are comfortable knowing what y and x represent so this x is going to be our independent variable so this usually gets us started when we are trying uh, to figure out something that is unknown so we have some variables and so they'll sometimes give us the independent variable and then we're looking typically for the y which is the dependent variable this changes based on what happens to that independent variable rarely does it stay exactly the same and that change is this right here so let's talk about this k. So this is what we are doing to our independent variable. And so it goes by many names. So it is our constant. Sometimes it is our constant rate or our constant ratio. Sometimes we'll just call it the rate of change. But what we're looking at is how we can isolate that constant if in this particular video. What can we do if we wanted to find the constant by itself? Well, think about it if it were just a regular algebra problem. You want to isolate the k, which means we need to get rid of that x, which means we can multiply both or divide both sides by x. That will go ahead and cancel each other out. So we are looking at a ratio, and that's why our constant is a ratio. It is y over x. Now, how does that work with a real example? Well, let's go ahead and take a look. Let me grab a problem that's been hiding here for, from us. If we are going to take a look at this problem, it just gives us a very simple problem situation. Jim buys 14 pounds of dog food for $35. What is the price per pound? All right, so let's put this into our y equals kx. So what is he starting with? He's starting with the pounds of dog food. So that is going to be our independent variable. So I'm going to put that right over here. And it, it's not 14 pounds for $14. There's a price that we're missing right here. It's this k. And that gets us an ultimate cost of $35, right? So $35 because you need to take your 14 pounds and you need to multiply it by, here's our unit rate, here's our constant, our ratio, whatever you want to call it, our price per pound. So we're missing that. So if we wanted to isolate this K, we'll just go ahead and call it K here. Well, we know that what we would need to do, since we're multiplying that 14 is divide both sides by 14. Right, that would cancel each other out. And so we're left with 14 into 35. Let's see, that's going to go twice. That's 28. And that's going to give me 7. And let's go ahead and add decimals. And let's see if we can extend this a little bit. We don't want to go forever if it's repeating. But that looks like it's actually going to go in evenly. That's a 5. So there we go. So our price per pound, our unit rate, is actually going to be this 250. So our K equals 250 because we were able to isolate that. Let's see if we can look at one more example. So Jerome is using four cups of sugar to make 60 cookies. We're looking for the constant rate of change. So that's that constant unit rate that we're looking for. And they go ahead and tell us that the number of cookies equals y. So let's say our y equals kx. We need that equation. So the number of cookies is y, 60. Let's just go ahead and keep that k. The number of cups of sugar needed, that is 4. So let's just go ahead and put that x. Let's flip it around 4k rather than k times 4. And so we know that if we want to figure this out, we'll just divide both sides by 4. Right, we'll get that, and that's going to be, k is going to be 60 divided by 4, which is 15.